Doctors are used to seeing strange medical conditions during surgeries, and after performing hundreds of x-rays, it's hard to surprise a veteran internist. The patient is presenting signs of pain in the gastrointestinal system, likely a blockage. After it's identified, the next step is to remove it, either by inducing vomiting or bowel evacuation or with surgery to remove it from the stomach or intestines. It should be a routine procedure and… wait, what is that exactly stuck in the patient's stomach? Doctors may think they've seen it all, but patients can always surprise. Here's some of the craziest things ever found inside the human body. Nerman Keating was a sick old woman from Essex who had lost her teeth long ago. She wore dentures, although her top set had mysteriously gone missing. She had been battling Parkinson's disease and now she seemed to be coming down with a lung infection. Her breathing difficulties had led her to a doctor where they assumed it was a routine illness, but her daughter had a feeling something else was going on. She pressured the doctors for a second opinion and they took x-rays, and they found her missing set of dentures lurking at the bottom of her throat. After a quick removal, Miss Keating was breathing easier. Some places for hidden items are even more uncomfortable. The next story has made the rounds among doctors for years, but I'm sure the man who suffered this condition is glad his identity is unknown. He was pleasuring himself with a vibrator, but placed it a little too far up his rectum and it got lodged inside. He probably should have gone to the hospital at that point, but was naturally embarrassed and decided to see if he could take care of it himself. Well, he did find himself at the emergency room later that night. When the doctors x-rayed him, they found the vibrator and an attached set of salad tongs that he had inserted in the same awkward area to try to grab it. It was a very adult incident, but many crazy foreign objects are found in the body of kids. It was quantity, not quality, for one eight-year-old girl in Indiana. She was normally a studious girl and seemed responsible, but she was unusually attracted to the colorful little magnets she had at home. She wound up eating them, one by one, along with some other odd pieces of metal she found around the house. By the time she found herself in serious digestive distress, she had eaten almost 30 magnets, some of which had attached to each other and created blockages in her intestine. She wound up having to have major surgery to remove them safely, as they were starting to tear holes in her stomach lining. At least she had age as an excuse, unlike the next woman. Fighting with a romantic partner is always stressful, but one girl in China in 2006 had a very unusual idea about stress relief. After fighting with her boyfriend, she decided to express her anger by swallowing some cobblestones. She didn't just stop at a few, she wound up swallowing over 20, assuming they just passed through her digestive system. That didn't work out. Not only did they get lodged in her stomach, forcing her to seek medical attention, but she said she could hear them knocking against each other in her stomach. The next guy took stubbornness one step too far. A college student in Bournemouth was having a heck of a party night, drinking so much that he was making a fool of himself. When his hosts told him to go home, he decided to make sure he couldn't go home. He slipped his key into his mouth and swallowed, something that surely seemed like a good idea under the influence of alcohol. When he realized what he had done and that you can't go home again was now very real, he was undoubtedly grateful when the key passed through his digestive system naturally. That would have been an awkward conversation with the landlord. In terms of bad decision making, it's hard to beat this next guy. A young couple was having sex and they came up with a crazy game to play. They mixed a solution of enema fluid and concrete and one partner poured it into his boyfriend's rectum with a funnel. Why did they think this was a good idea? No one knows. But they had overlooked one problem. Concrete becomes hard. By the time it was done, they had to pay a visit to the emergency room for surgery to remove the concrete mold, making this a story the young couple probably won't be telling at family dinners. One would think a lawyer would show better judgment, but not in this next case. When a 39-year-old lawyer arrived at a teaching hospital complaining of pain in his rectum, the doctors didn't know what to expect, but they certainly weren't expecting to find a perfume bottle. Maybe he was looking to freshen up down there. But shoving a hard and wide glass bottle up there did not turn out well. As his rectum swelled up and caused him intense pain, the doctors were able to remove the bottle non-surgically by sedating the man and offered him psychological counseling after the procedure. He declined, obviously being a man who was in his right mind and making very good decisions. Most of these incidents had to be resolved right away, but in one case, a man took his time getting a foreign object out. John Manley had one nagging problem long-term lung issues that frequently made him sick with bouts of pneumonia and occasionally even causing him to pass out in public. Seems like something he should take care of, but he decided to tough it out, maybe inspired by his name. After yet another passing out incident, he was taken to the hospital where they took x-rays and found what looked like a tumor growing in his lung. 
but an exploratory surgery revealed that it was actually a fragment of a Wendy's fork that he had inhaled while eating his lunch long ago. How long? He had been suffering from lung issues for over two years. John Manley was not the only person to have a close encounter with a foreign object that stayed there for a long time. A German man had been plagued by headaches for years and had been dealing with poor eyesight in his right eye. He was starting to wonder if it was something dangerous like a brain tumor, so he went in for brain scans. What the doctors found was more than a little surprising. A four-inch pencil lodged inside his head. How did it get there? That's the shocking thing. It had been there for 15 years, since he fell as a nine-year-old and it somehow made its way inside his sinus. The pencil was surgically removed in a complex procedure and he can finally breathe easy again. The next incident likely caused the doctor some nightmares. A dermatologist received a call from an elderly woman who was worried about a mole on her skin that she said kept changing. The doctor wanted to bring her in quickly because a mole that changes appearance can be a sign of skin cancer. But upon examining the mole, it wasn't just changing, it was moving under her skin. After undoubtedly taking a minute to compose himself and make sure he wasn't trapped in a horror movie, the doctor examined it further and found that it was a tick that had burrowed into her skin and he was able to remove it without any complications. Many of these incidents are fault-free, but not all of them. One man in the UK wanted to get his girlfriend a fancy engagement ring, but there was just one problem. He was flat broke, but he had what he thought was a foolproof plan. He went to the jewelers and asked to see the ring, and then as soon as the jeweler turned his back, he swallowed it. When the jeweler had him searched, they couldn't find it anywhere on his person and he thought he had gotten away with it. And then the police brought in the metal detectors. He did wind up passing the ring out like he had planned, but he was doing it on a jailhouse toilet. He wasn't the only person driven to bad judgment by jewelry. When a middle-aged woman came to the emergency room complaining of stomach pains, she didn't look like the kind to get up to anything ridiculous. She was wearing fine clothing and looked like she had just come from a salon. When the doctors x-rayed her stomach, they were shocked to find her stomach and small bowel were filled with jewelry items. After they were surgically removed, the story came out. The woman's husband was cheating, and he kept taking her jewelry to give to his mistress, so she put them somewhere he wouldn't be able to get them. Criminals aren't known for their judgment, and these next cases weren't nearly as good at hiding things as they thought. When Neil Lansing, a Sarasota County homeless man, went to jail in 2011, he decided he'd come prepared. But his ruse fell apart during a routine jailhouse search when guards noticed something odd sticking out of his rectum. It was a condom, but it wasn't just a condom. Mr. Lansing had managed to stock a varied collection of supplies inside the condom, including pills, a cigarette, six matches, a piece of flint, a syringe with an eraser over the sharp needle, an unused condom, and oddly, a receipt from CVS. His secret cash found, Neil Lansing faced upgraded charges and a longer stay in jail. But at least he wasn't packing what the next case was. Dallas Archer was only 21 when she was arrested for driving with a suspended license. That's not normally the kind of crime that gets you a long jail term, but she was apparently planning for trouble. When she was searched upon her arrival in jail, a female guard discovered a foreign object in her genitals. One more thorough search later and they discovered she'd been carrying a handgun inside her. More troubling, it was loaded. Whatever Dallas Archer had been planning to do with that gun, her stay in Tennessee Corrections Department had been extended by several years. The next case managed to turn putting unusual things in their body into a career. Michael Latito was known as Mr. Eat It All for his seemingly impossible ability to eat things that were inedible or even extremely dangerous. He developed pica as a teenager, a condition that gave him the compulsion to eat objects that weren't food. Doctors observed his stomach lining was unusually thick and his gastric juices unusually powerful, which allowed him to eat metal, glass, and other materials without puncturing his stomach lining. He would frequently perform by eating items like bicycles and televisions. But his most famous stunt was when he ate an entire Cessna 150, consuming every part of the plane over a two-year period. Despite his daredevil feats, none of his strange consumptions ever caught up to Latito. He died of natural causes. The next object wasn't just unusual, it was alive. Ron Svedin was a retired teacher from Massachusetts battling emphysema when his condition suddenly took a turn for the worse. He just rushed to the hospital and doctors took an x-ray, finding what they assumed was a tumor. But surgery revealed it wasn't a tumor, it was a pea plant. And it was still alive and growing. It had sprouted leaves that were making it difficult for Mr. Svedin to breathe. After it was removed and Ron Svedin began to recover, doctors speculated that he must have swallowed a pea wrong, letting it slip into his lung, where it sprouted. 
But this wasn't even the first case like this. A Russian man four years earlier was found to have a fur sapling in his lung. A reason to eat carefully. For more bizarre medical mysteries, check out most insane ER horror stories you won't be able to stomach, or check out this video instead.